Hello friends, this video on communication systems part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, so far we talked about the modulation types in case of a sinusoidal wave. What about a pulse wave? If we do not have a sine wave, instead if we have a square wave or a rectangular wave, what happens to the modulation types there? So do we still have those three types of modulation? So let us have a look here. First, let us see what is a pulse wave. What exactly is a pulse? As I said before also, it is very similar to a square wave. Just that it is not symmetrical like a square wave. So it is a non-sinusoidal wave similar to square wave. It is also known as a rectangular wave because when I talk about a square wave, it will be somewhat like this, like this width and this width, everything will be same. But when I talk about a rectangular wave, it is not like that. Right? So these kind of waves are known as a pulse wave. So a pulse wave can be a rectangular wave, it can be a square wave. So let us look at the different types of modulation which are possible in a pulse wave. Now what are the different parameters of a pulse wave? Because the type of modulation which are possible, which would be possible, they will actually depend on the parameters. Because modulation is nothing but modification of a particular parameter of a wave. So in case of sine wave, those parameters were amplitude, frequency and phase. So let us see what are the important parameters of a pulse wave. When I talk of a pulse wave, pulse width or pulse duration is an important parameter. What is pulse width? So this width is, not, is known as pulse width. So this is a very important parameter to describe a pulse wave. So when the modulation happens on the pulse width, that means if the pulse width of the carrier wave gets modified, as per the message signal, then we say that it is a pulse width modulation or a pulse duration modulation, which is often abbreviated as PWM or PDM. The next parameter is a pulse amplitude. So pulse amplitude again is this distance. This is the amplitude. So when the, there is a change in the amplitude, we call it as pulse amplitude modulation. And the third one is a pulse position. For example, this is a rise in pulse, right? So the pulse rise, this is pu pulse fall. So these positions actually denote the pulse position, where exactly the pulse rises, where exactly the pulse falls. So if there is a change in these positions, it is known as pulse position modulation. So these are the three types of modulation of pulse waves. We are not getting into the detail of each of these modulation because I hope that with the help of the sinusoidal waves, you have already got an idea, you have got the concept what actually happens during a modulation. So I am not getting into the details of each type of pulse wave modulation. So what was the agenda of this topic? We talked about modulation. Why do we need modulation? What are the different types of modulation? So a last recap for the need of modulation. Because the size of the antenna prefers a high frequency signal for transmission, power radiated by an antenna should be high for effective transmission. For that, high frequency signal is preferred. Mixing of signals from different transmitters can be avoided by using communication at high frequencies and allotting a band of frequencies to each message signal for its transmission. I have discussed each of them in detail before, so I hope that it is clear to you. So with this, I will end my discussion on modulation and I will focus more on amplitude modulation. Because so far we have talked about many types of modulation, right? But at this level, we will not get into the details of each type of modulation. We will only talk about amplitude modulation. What we will see is, that till now I explained you the different types of modulation with the help of graphs, right? Now we will mathematically see what happens during amplitude modulation. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.